Okay, the first workflow that I will do, it's um, something like this. Gmail trigger, then so that we start already, let's go, let's go to the battle. Not, uh, not the best way to learn is to see how, how we do workflows. And so we will start with the first workflow, which is going to be a very simple one, perhaps not so, so uh, relevant, but so that you can see the power of this. This workflow will detect when I receive a Gmail and if there is a file attached to this Gmail, we'll upload it to Google Drive. Okay, very simple, only two nodes. And uh, that's the first workflow that we will do. Um, how do we do this workflow? I'll go back to the, well, I didn't do any change. Save, okay, the one we were doing, yeah, this one. I'll delete all the previous mess. And uh, this workflow will start with a Gmail node. And inside node, we have several nodes. Yeah, look at this. Look at this uh, um, icon of a uh, light, light bulb is called in English? For thunder. And um, yeah, light bulb. This indicates us that this node, it's a trigger node. What does it mean, a trigger node? It's a, a node that it's listening for an event outside, and when that event occurs, it will start all the work of all the workflow. Whenever you see this icon in a node, it means that it's a starting node, a triggering node, um, launching node. So a node that will start uh, all the execution of the workflow. So we want this, and this will be a Gmail that will be triggered on email received. Okay. And uh, once the email is received, we will use a Google Drive. Google Drive. You see there are triggers because we could also uh, use nodes that when a file is uploaded to a folder, then starts the workflow. But no, this is not the case. What we want to do is perform an, perform an action of uploading the, this file to, the, to our work, work, uh, Google Drive folder. Fine. But now, look at this. This is telling us that we have an error. Credentials for Gmail trigger are not set. Parameter file name is required. Credentials for Google Drive are not set. These are all the errors that, that indicates us that this is not going to work. If I click on execute workflow, workflow has, workflow has issues. I got, I got this error and I have to fix those issues in order for the workflow to, to start because I can execute the workflow manually, clicking here, okay, or through the trigger that this uh, um, occurs reactively as long as the work the workflow is saved and it's set on active like if i have a workflow and um, i can activate the workflow or disactivate the workflow so if the workflow is active when that trigger occurs the workflow will be executed even if we are not in front of the computer as long as the this is hosted in a server or where, or in a computer that is on but we don't need to be in front the the workflow will be executed that is why we call them bots or automations or robots because they work they start the action even if we are not in front or if we, even if we don't tell them directly okay so let's go to fix the two errors and the first error it's a um, error related with the credentials okay I need to I need to link this. Uh, I should select one of these credentials to attach to attach them to the to the workflow so that this to do the node so that this node it's able to connect with my Gmail account or my Google Drive account. Of course, if you have come to credential sections, you have nothing. You have nothing, and that is what what we will do in the next video. In the next video, we will create a Google credential. I want to warn you, it's not going to be an easy and pleasant process. It's going to be a bit annoying. I'm really sorry, but remember that we only need to do it the first time. Okay, so see you in the next video and please be patient.